If 2020 was the year of being cooped up alone, then 2021 was the year of blossoming romance. And not just for boring average people, I'm talking about celebrities, the people I stalk on the internet, and sometimes in real life. But not all celebrity pairs are created equal, so let's count down the best of the year in Desi Lydic's 2021 Power Couple Countdown. Coming in at number five is number 2.0, specifically Benifer 2.0. Ben Affleck has reportedly rekindled his romance with Jennifer Lopez. Benifer 2.0 back in action 17 years after the A-listers called off their engagement. The couple out of town this weekend and San Tropez, France, is celebrating Jennifer's 52nd birthday on a yacht. What the hell? She's 52? Years? I didn't look that young at 52 months. What the f is she eating? It is so great to see Ben and Jen back together. Ben is now the most important person in her life. Aside from that witch who cast a spell to keep her young forever. <laughs> God damn it, JLo, give me her number. This couple would have been higher on my list, but the only problem I have is I hate the name Benifer. If it were up to me, I would have gone with Low Black or even better, Afpez. Now that's sexy. And really nothing is more exciting than rekindling a relationship from 17 years ago. In fact, I'm gonna try that too. Excuse me. Yes, hi, is Matt there? It's Desi. He and I dated back in 2004. It was a pretty spicy summer. <laughs> Oh, he did? I'm so sorry for your loss. Well, I guess I can kiss my Afpez dreams goodbye. <laughs> Power couple number four, it's Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. They're one of my favorite couples of 2021 because they like to make it the intercourse. If you've been on social media recently, you've probably noticed that Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly can't keep their hands off of each other. <laughs> MGK says their romance is both ecstasy and agony. Megan says on her Instagram, though, that their sex life is so explosive, it would basically make the devil blush. Damn. These two are so hot. They had an entire meeting about them at COP26. Gotta love how these two just put it out there in 2021. The masks came off, the tongues came out, then the mask came back on again because of Delta, but the tongue stayed out, so the mask got all wet. It was gross. 2021's number three most powerful couple isn't a couple, but a thruple. That's right, I'm talking Prince Harry, Meghan Markle and Oprah. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's historic and groundbreaking interview with the one and the only Oprah Winfrey. To call it revealing would be an understatement. The couple lobbed shock after shock. It seemed just when you thought it couldn't get oh. any more shocking, it did. Were you silent or were you silenced? The latter. Megan telling Oprah there was concern over baby Archie's skin color. Concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. What? What? This was the most intense conversation I have ever seen happen on patio furniture. And my parents told me they were getting a divorce in a hammock. And although this relationship only lasted as long as the interview itself, the world will always have the memes to remember it by. I, however, have something else to remember it by. I snuck on the set and stole the table plan. <laughs> Ow. At number two, we've got a couple so powerful, they don't even need to be together. Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema, because sometimes love is deeply passionate, but other times it's unapologetically moderate. All eyes are watching the two holdout Democratic senators, Joe Manchin of West Virginia and Kirsten Cinema of Arizona. Cinema and Manchin, obviously in the Senate, they hold the keys in 50-50 Senate. Manchin opposes spending. Cinema opposes taxes. They make a lovely couple. In fact, they're the number one power couple in Washington, D.C. today.
That's right, everyone was talking about these two Senate sweethearts because they love grinding everything to a halt. And these two really prove that opposites attract. He's an old West Virginia man. She's a business Katy Perry from Arizona. He's from blue collar coal country. She wore a blue collar on that denim vest for some reason. But they came together over their shared love of tantric legislating. No matter how much you beg for clean energy subsidies, a wealth tax, or paid family leave, these Build Back blockers can make negotiations last all year long. Mm. So thanks to these two, Americans don't have paid leave. But I'll tell you what, you can't pay me any amount of money to leave this studio. <laughs> they have me chained to this set. And finally, coming to you from halfway around the globe, my number one power couple of 2021, the Suez Canal and that huge container ship that got stuck in it. Everyone in the world was wanting these two to break up. And guess what? That only made it hotter. For six and a half days, they just kept at it. PDA alert, turns out they like when people watch. Now let's take a closer look at these two lovebirds. And just a warning, you should take the kids out of the room because this might get a little graphic. Ooh, these two really put the anal in k anal. That's a sexy way you pronounce canal. Sadly, they have been separated for a few months now, but it leaves the world asking, is there still unfinished business between these two? Who could possibly fill that canal's void? Ah, it's Pete Davidson, of course. He really does have that big ship energy. Mm. Well, thanks for joining me. That's it for Desi Lydic's 2021 Power Couple Countdown. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go make a deal with that witch. Who needs a soul when you can have abs like that at 52? Holy shit. Oh, God damn it. Guys, oh, oh, come on. This is The Daily Show with Trevor Noah.